Hello everyone, SP Architects here today. I want to show you how to make this kind of organic modeling for your architectural designs in ARCHICAD. Normally, ARCHICAD is not a proper software for this kind of stations. It was designed for non-extraordinary buildings. But if it is necessary, why not? All you need to know some workarounds to achieve this. With this method, you will watch you will learn the way how to work around this situation. By the way, if you are new to ARCHICAD, I suggest watching my basic floor plan series. I hope you will provide a strong foundation for your learning curve. Now, returning to our design, our subtitles will be as follows. First, we will design according to our project. The important thing is here, giving the model enough space for our chamfer operation. Second, we will save our model. To do it, we will duplicate it and we will work with our new copied model. So that means if there appears some problem, we can go back. For the final step, we will convert our model to morph and we will chamfer all of the necessary corners we want. These are the main steps for our design. Now we can jump to our tutorial. Alright, here we are in ARCHICAD and we are going to start this project just building a wall. So we are going to click the wall tool and we are going to change the main structure. It's now the basic, but default you will see uh, this composite profile. You will select this basic and you can change the bottom and top. It starts from the zero and reaches to three meters. You can change it from the ground floor right here. You will click the settings and you will change the ground floor elevation and height to next. Also, you can change the wall thickness. It's 30 right now. It's better to make this wider. So I'm going to make this 35 or 40. And now let's create our first wall. This is going to be um, maybe 6 meters. I'm going to input here 600 centimeters. And after that, I will give it 2.5 meters. And finish from here. It's not important to close whole building because it's a very basic scene. There's going to be a window here, right here. And our organic seating come from here and touch this ball. Now I'm going to select this ball and this ball, then click this corner. And I'm going to click this field chamfer. This is going to be 250, just like this. Or to make this cleaner, I will move this an additional 30 centimeters and then create another 30 centimeters ball or maybe 40, so 10 centimeters more. Let's intersect them and let's create our main slab. Let's go to slab tool. The bottom is 30, it's okay. But I want to close this opening with the basic line, just like this. And let's click slab, hit the space and click inside. Now we have a slab right there. In the 3D window, we have this one. For this example, we will select this height walls and change the height from the bottom to top, just like this. Also, this part. It's very important. After that, I'm going to copy this to here. Now, if we go back to the floor plan, we will sketch our seating. To do it, I'm going to hit the line button and click inside. Now we have a line like this. Um, to select them all, I'll just going to click the suspend group on and off. And then it will be selected all line as a group. After that, I will click this edge. Just be careful, this suspend group is off, actually on. Click this edge, 
and click offset all edges. This is going to be, I don't know, maybe 50 centimeters, maybe 10 centimeters more. So let's go back. Let's make this 60. And then I'm going to clean this corner. And make this a straight line. After that, I will create another seating part. It's going to be 45 centimeters. So to do it, I'm going to select these three parts and click this edge. As you can see, I can offset it right now. And I'm going to hit the control. You will see this plus very basic and easy. After that, I'm going to input here 45, hit enter. And this is the second part. Now we can create another line here, or maybe we can make this shorter like this and trim. There we have our main shape and we are going to finish our settings. To do it, we are going to select this slab and copy here and copy here. In the 3D window, we will have this shape. You will see this slab and this slab. Let's move them to the bottom and then this part will be 30. Let's make this 45 and change the direction. Attach the bottom, make this again, and this one will be an additional 30 centimeter or 40 centimeters more. Um, again, from here, here is going to be 70. I like the way this is turning out. We can change the materials or later. But before that, um, we are going to create our amorph window shape for this wall. To do it, we will go to floor plan and sketch it out with the polyline or spline. I'm going to make this Actually, I'm going to make this non-uniform. Maybe something like this. Let's try moving this point. Let's click this, hold the shift and click this point. So they will be in the same height. After that, we are going to click this desire. And we are trying to make this flat. Something like this. Let's click this part again. Maybe smaller value. Way more better, I think. Now, we are going to create a profile for this window and we are going to make a glass it's very basic we are going to use the slab once again let's pick up this slab and for the top it will be five zero and five hit the space and after that we will create another on top of each other offset inside five or four and then we will click this edge or point we will click this subtract from polygon and click inside now this is the edge and this is the glass so this part will be two or one centimeter and material will be 
glass. So in the settings, we are going to override surfaces and we will search for glass, maybe glass clear test. In the 3D, we will see this. Maybe we can move it to the center. But I want this blue part on the zero. So I'm going to reverse this. And after that, I'm going to elevate this glass to the center of the profile. It's up to you. You can make this more detailed. Now, let's select this glass pass again. Duplicate to same place. Offset to its maximum point. And spline. Let's delete our spline. Yeah. We will elevate once again. And this is going to be our this is going to be our opening you can change the material it's not important which material you are using but the important thing is you are going to go to settings and you will see this id under the id and categories we are going to change this id name the name is important it's gonna it's gonna be all all joined together let's click ok let's select all of them and let's go to file libraries save selection as window this is going to be new window 1 let's click ok and we will click the window tool and place here Let's change the height, maybe something like this. Not too bad. Once we have done this, I'm going to make this hidden. I don't want to see it anymore. And after that, I will insert this to inside offset there we go now we are going to step our second step we are going to select all of them and duplicate to here after that we will right click and select convert selection to morph let's click ok now all of them are selected. Hold the shift. Unselect. Window. Now we have selected everything except window. And. Let's look at closer. If it is correct. Yes, it's correct. We will right click select union under the boolean operation now this is one piece as you can see we no have any inside inner lines but maybe we can um, create helper lines for instance for instance this part there will be a point here our point will be there i know because it's going to be a problem i have tried this before therefore i'm going to find this point if i can find this there we have our line and we will click this add polyline from there to here 
just be careful this is going to be perpendicular to the surface now we have three different parts one two three for the wall once this is done we are going to select our faces hold the shift and control if you cannot do that you can select this arrow from here and you can select this white arrow it's just the same after that once you click you will hit the shift and click the balls here 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 this face that face this face maybe this face too but we will look at if it is going to be necessary once we have selected this we will click this fillet chamfer and i'm going to try this as maximum as possible so i'm going to try maximum value And our maximum value is 120. Just like this. I think we made this very nice. Now we can change our materials. Let's go back to the basic arrow. Take all of them and make this good for vertical with vertical is going to be higher actually it's going to be look like higher than its original and after that it's optional you can go back to the arrow and select heights like this phase two if this is correct no let's select this again anyway we will click the surface from here and make this another material maybe a basic gray let's type it gray here and click the paint light gray or dark gray let's click here bottom or one by one way more better there we go if you want to remove visible lines you may go to 3d right click here go to 3d styles and you can just uncheck show contours and this is our perspective view and now you can render this to do it you can go to team motion or you can just go to basic renderer I'm just going to click this photo render projection. There we go. I think that's all it for this kind of amorph non-uniform shape tutorial. And this is the way how you can achieve this. I hope you have liked this. If you have learned something new, please hit the like button and be subscribed if you want to see more tutorials like this. And if you are serious about learning ARCAD, you can go to my Patreon page. From there, I will be waiting for you. Alright, thank you for watching. Until next time, have a nice day. Bye.